Let's begin by identifying our variables. Let's look at the pressure variables first. We know that the starting pressure is 2.00 atmospheres. And then we see that the pressure is going to be raised to 2.5 atmospheres. Next up, let's consider the temperature values in this problem. We know that the starting temperature is 88 degrees Celsius. Let's go ahead and convert that to Kelvin. So I'll just record the Kelvin temperature of 361.15 Kelvin. Next, we look at the ending temperature, which is going to be 155 degrees Celsius. Again, we need to convert this to Kelvin in order to solve the problem. So the Kelvin temperature works out to be 428.15 Kelvin. The final thing that we need to look at are the volumes involved in this problem. The starting volume was 25 liters. And the ending volume is what we're trying to find for. So I'll go ahead and write V2 equals question mark. Again, I'm writing question mark because this is our unknown variable. So I'm using the combined gas law. I'd like to solve for V2. In order to do this, I will need to multiply each fraction by T2 over P2. This allows me to cancel T2 here and here. It allows me to cancel P2 here and here. Now, before I do that, I need to keep in mind that whatever I'm doing to this side of the equation, I have to do the same exact thing to the other side. Okay, let's go ahead and cancel those variables out from the side that we were working with here. P2 cancels with P2. T2 cancels with T2. Now I can rewrite my equation in terms of V2. I found that this is going to be T2, P1, V1, divided by P2, T1. The next step in our problem solving strategy is to plug in the known variables and then solve and evaluate our answer. Okay, earlier we had found that T2 was 428.15 Kelvin. We had identified P1 as being 2.00 atmospheres. Our V1 was 25.0 liters. This is all going to be divided by the ending pressure of 2.50 atmospheres and the initial temperature of 361.15 Kelvin. Let's check our units to see that we've set this problem up appropriately. I can see that my unit of Kelvin here cancels with the unit of Kelvin here in the denominator. I'm also able to cancel units of atmospheres here and here. This leaves a unit of liters, and because I'm solving for a volume, this makes sense in terms of what I'm looking for. The final step is to plug the numbers into my calculator and then evaluate sig figs. So we plug the numbers into our calculator and we've evaluated to find that this problem is going to yield an answer of 23.7 liters. Our final answer should have three significant figures. We are finding three significant digits here, here, and here.